A mile to go, and the Central Park crowds are astounded to see three men still fighting for the lead after 25 miles. On to Central Park South, it's Turgata Ramala with Kapleski just off the back. The pace is taken up a few notches. Kapleski is dropped, but neither Turgata Ramala will give an inch. The world will now be treated to one of the most extraordinary finishing duels in all of sport. What's good, what's good YouTube? Before we get this video started, if you haven't, hit the like button, subscribe. This channel is gonna be more about just running. It's gonna be about life, uh, reaction videos, but you know what I mean? I need your support. Uh, but I'm making this video today. Just got done with some mile repeats out here. Uh, the snow is gone. So I was able to come on a track just to be in a safer area. But this video, I just wanna talk about a few things that I wish I knew before I started running and things I learned along the way. Number one, set goals, not expectations. Let me say that again. Set goals, not expectations. Every day you're running is gonna be different. Every day that you get out here, your body's gonna feel different. Uh, it's gonna amount to a lot of different things. Recovery, the way you eat, the way you sleep, your daily stress load. So set goals, not expectations. And what I mean about goals, they need to be smart, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and put a time on it. Let yourself know when you want to accomplish these goals, how soon you want to accomplish them, how you're going to accomplish them, and how you're going to go by doing that. Number two, just start. Just start. Um, I started my running journey almost a year and a half ago today. Uh, trained for a marathon at 35 years old. Was able to complete my running. Uh, but it actually started off with just a bunch of friends from the military. We all were on Nike Run Club. We were like, hey, we're gonna get out and just do, do a mile a day. Stay out, get moving. It was at the beginning of the pandemic. Everybody was trying to stay active. Everybody was trying to do something positive. And so that's what we did. And the competitive nature of me kicked in. I started doing two, three, four, five miles a day. And after that, it was all she wrote. Everybody else faded. But at that time, I was fully committed and I've been committed ever since. Uh, so that's number two, just start. Number three, shoes, which I'm gonna get into this more and more throughout my YouTube channel, uh, talking about shoes, footwear. I'm gonna be doing some unboxing of shoes as well. But shoes, man, shoes, shoes, shoes. African-Americans, I know we always wear Nike, but man, I started off in Nikes, but now I'm wearing the uh, Saucony and Adidas, or Adidas, how they want us to say it now, something like that, but um, I'm not sponsored by either one, but uh, I do prefer Saucony and Adidas. Um, also Hoka, Hoka is a big one. Um, I do have a surprise coming in this week that I'm gonna be doing an unboxing. So we'll see if your boy can get back into a different brand, see how they shake out. Uh, but footwear was most important. Uh, it's easy to run in anything when you're doing your little daily two, three miles. But once your training starts requiring you 10, 15, 20 milers, shoes are important. Um, I got to a point in my Nikes and I did like the super running shoe, the alpha flies, everything. But every time I got around 10 or 12 miles, it felt like the bottom of my shoe was the bottom of the mountain. And these are things that you're gonna learn, that you're gonna be able to start to recognize once you uh, get into running. Shoes, uh, uh, my channel is gonna be more common sense. I don't wanna talk over people's head. Uh, but you know, it felt like the my foot was hitting the ground. That's why I say bottom of the mountain. And then I got into my first pair of Adidas and it changed my life. And then after that, I've been you know, trying Hoka's uh, and other shoes like that. So number one is set goals, not expectations. Number two, just get out and get started. Number three, that's footwear. Number four, man, taking care of your body. 
Uh, I've, been, I've been an athlete all my life. So I never really, I was never really big on like stretching and stuff like that. So I used to just get out and run. I'm talking about literally get out, get dressed, get hyped on some music. I probably rolled out, foam rolled probably two, three, four times, a handful of times, but nothing crazy. Um, but that's the biggest thing I would tell people. I'm sorry about the wind in the background. It's kind of windy. It's real cool right here. 27 degrees, I think, today. But the biggest thing is recovery, man. Taking care of your body. That's including eating, stretching, uh, any massages, anything you need to do to get your body right. If you're trying to take running to the next level, you're just trying to be a casual runner you should be okay with just your daily stretching make sure you warm up before your runs that's something that i'm going to try to get into now it's just warming up because i notice that my body normally tells me around right mile two or three how i'm going to feel that day so um and last but not least man number five enjoy the process enjoy the process uh, my brother started running uh i got people around me my friend Jay Rizzle started running, changed her whole physique, her whole life. Uh, running is positive, man. Running is the one fitness thing that you can do that you see instant gratification. When I mean instant gratification, that can be weight loss, that can be times improving, that can be just, you know, you getting out and doing miles you never thought you were gonna do. So that's why I love running, cause it's just the instant gratification in it. So, uh, when you guys get up and you know you try to think about starting something new just remember those key things man number one is set goals not expectations number two you know just get out and get started number three is footwear all right man i can't wait to talk about that more number three is footwear number four is recovery taking care of your body and number five man just enjoy the process got to enjoy the process if you don't enjoy the process you won't keep doing it uh this is the first winter i kept running i've been running in the snow i've been running in below freezing uh, when i went to ohio the snow it was freezing i'm not stopping this year uh because this winter is going to actually make me stronger for the spring and the summer so that's what your boy looking for but i appreciate you guys taking your time out to check out this channel souls of thought that's s-o-l-e-s -E like the soles of your shoe uh, but you know if you haven't already if you watch this far make sure you like comment subscribe and just holler at your boy man i'm out